So um, what about the number zero, right? Um, w when we talk about numerology, when we talk about anyology, the number zero is not a number per se meaning it doesn't have the physical the material aspects that the numbers one through nine uh have so when it comes to numerology uh joydish numerology uh anyology, the number zero or, or the numbers one through nine are really the only numbers that matter because every all the numbers after 10 all the numbers 10 and up are just repeats of of um are just repeats of the numbers one through nine so the number zero all it does is it's abstract so you got your material numbers one through nine then you got your abstract number zero right so what zero does is it brings that it brings that spiritual nature to these um material numbers so um and it it and the zero is actually not that new uh to the west it's, i'm sorry it's not that old to the west now in the east has been around they they call it uh shuma and it's it was like the basis for like the buddhist uh traditions even though the zero, the zero has been around longer than that um and it was seen as their the foundation basically like infinity so the zero helps um it was able to take math arithmetic science all that to a whole new level because now they was able to look into infinity now that they had access to the number zero and before that it was just the material planes one through nine especially here in the, in the west so um so right so the number zero actually what it does is it um it lessens the influence of any number attached to it when it comes to numerology so if you have a 10 if you if you have a uh uh um a 20 any number attached to zero is going to lessen the influence of that number attached to it and the more zeros that you have attached to it is going to it's going to lessen the influence even more meaning there's going to be more struggle if you have those zeros attached to your uh to your numbers because it is it's abstract you know what I'm saying? It's it's not material. So there's going to be that um, that pulling into the abstract direction, meaning it's going to be hard to kind of do things here in this material plane because that's where we are. You're going to have a lot of struggle if you have that zero. Um, so like I said, although the zero is awesome um, as far as um, helping us see into the spiritual realm, helping us uh, grow, uh, mathematically scientifically um, it is a um, it will cause struggle for the different paths that have the zero uh, connected to it um, and even like when we talk about the destiny number or the name number um, or, or let's just say the destiny number right because the destiny number is the entire birth date right so say you got your entire birth date and the day that you were born with 2000 you got three zeros in there. You're going to have... Now, I will say, if, if the zero is in the, the year place, it's not going to have as much as an influence, but that struggle is going to be there. If you're born on the 10th, you're going to have struggle. You know what I'm saying? The 20th, the 30th, there's going to be struggle there. Um, Say, you're, say your birthday is 10... 10... 2,000. You know what I mean? You're probably going to have a lot of struggle because you got, one, what's that, five zeros? You know what I'm saying, and and it's good to notice because um, you can you can prepare, you, you can um, you know maybe structure your life around really just focusing on those strong periods because every path has a strong period and strong days and strong months in their life. So your best bet is to do things on those days. You know what I'm saying. So. Um, that's it so that I pretty much got about the number zero.